Hey, it's Angela with Mystic Moon. If you guys are seeing this particular video, this is because you just watched the Treasure Trove Tarot for Career and Finances deck flip through. So you've seen all of the cards that are in this deck. Maybe you just fast forwarded to this part, which is where I'm going to give you guys a little sample reading so you guys know how you can use this deck. I'm gonna use a little spread for just the tarot, and then I'm gonna go ahead and do an oracle tarot combination so we can see how we can use those two decks together. So this deck will be available for U.S. customers in my Etsy shop for pre-order. If you're international, depending on when you see this video, today is February 16th, 2022. It may take a few days before it is available by the link that I will put down below. It always takes a few days for this deck to get approved on my international site. But anyways, let's go ahead and get right into it. So I've already pre-shuffled, but I'm gonna shuffle a few more times on camera. Let's see what we need to know about our career in finances. We're just going to do a simple past, present, future spread. Here we go. All right, let's get the past energy of our career and finances. Ooh, we have the seven of cups. Okay, so it says too many options, imaginative ideas, and get rich quick schemes. So this could be interesting. If you get this card, this could be an indication that maybe we were dreaming about something, right? We had a lot of great ideas, great imagination, but really we just didn't make any choices. We didn't execute things. We had a lot of great ideas, a lot of great dreams, but again, didn't execute it. Or it's like we weren't being very realistic when it came to things. We just thought we were going to create something and then it was going to make a million dollars. Not really, but it just didn't work out that way. Okay. Or maybe even some of you even kind of got involved in something where it was just a waste of money and time. So I don't know if that resonates with somebody out there, but I like that we have the seven of cups in the past energy, depending on what comes up in the present energy. Hopefully that is something that is phasing out of our space. Let's take a look. Yes, I love this eight of cups and I did shuffle this deck. So it's kind of cool how we have like this, you know, um, these steps here. We are branching out. We're moving onwards to bigger and better things. So I kind of feel like maybe we had to try something out ourselves before we could really understand that it just wasn't for us. It wasn't what we were looking for. And sometimes, you know, look at that hair. It's just flying around. <laughs> um, sometimes we have to like, yeah, it's such a great idea. This is going to be so great. And then you do it or you kind of like start to realize, yeah, you know what? I'm just not really sure that that's going to work out. You know, you kind of realize that maybe your head was a little too much in the clouds or you were just being a little unrealistic with your expectations. So I do feel like we are ready to grow. We're ready to go into a new direction. You can see this guy, he is um, going towards the sun here. So there is sun on the horizon. Um, we're moving forward. We're kind of coming out of confused energy. This could even be if you were in a job or something and it was just kind of like you were confused and just weren't really able to feel grounded. You're now moving away from that. Maybe you're branching out. You're doing your own thing. You're traveling. You're moving. You're going towards something else that's just going to be a lot more just grounded for you. It's going to provide you with a lot more security because the seven of cups can be kind of iffy, meaning let's just say we are working independently. Sometimes that can be very stressful because depending on how the business is going, depends on if you're going to be able to pay your freaking bills. So, or sometimes just like doing something on the side for tips and things like that, that also can sometimes not be something that you can rely upon for income. So I kind of feel like we're moving away from that. So now let's go ahead and look at this future energy. Where are we actually going towards? Yes, I love this. We're going towards the full. We're kind of hitting that reset button in our lives. You know, we're, we're taking new risks. Adventure awaits. So if you guys right now are deciding on moving or leaving your current company, or you're just going to try something different. I really, really feel like this is something that's going to pay off. There's some kind of fresh air energy here. There's an opportunity for you to do something that's going to just be a lot more in alignment with what you're looking for. So it's about taking a leap of faith. It really is taking a leap of faith, moving onwards. There's bigger and better things for you. Whatever this was, it was meant for you to kind of experience something, but it's 
it's not meant for you any longer. How beautiful is that? So that is just a way that you can use a three card past, present, future spread. So now let's go ahead and move into the Oracle cards with the tarot. This right here is called my Winds of Fortune deck, okay? So this particular deck is available on my international site for both US and international customers. I just don't carry this in my shop at this time, but let's just go ahead and see what we need to know about this new opportunity that's coming up, okay? Let's just ask Spirit to give us some details on what we need to know. Oh, wow. Okay. This is kind of interesting because we did just get the seven of cups. What this is telling me, you guys, is that you will still have the ability to be able to dream. Okay. You will, but it's going to be in a different way where you're going to have a little bit more solid ground. You're going to have a little bit more of that earthy energy and all that watery energy. Okay. You might even be going towards, let's just say a person that's going to be able to help you to execute some of these ideas that you had, because you could be the type of person where you have a lot of talent, but it doesn't really matter if you have talent. If you don't know how to market yourself, then you're not really going to be able to get exposed and get anywhere. So that's kind of what I'm feeling here. Oh yeah. Look at this. Oh my God. <laughs> Nine of cups, jackpot, dream job, personal fulfillment. Whoa. Look at that genie. It's like your wish is granted. That's the nine of cups energy here. So this is like what you want to talk about a treasure trove. There it is. So to me, this just means that there's something that you want to do. There's something that you've been dreaming about. And you may have had your head in the clouds in the past because we can see it here. Okay. But whatever you were doing or however you were doing it, it wasn't working. So that's why it's going to require you to branch out and maybe find someone or go towards a place where you're going to be able to better execute these plans. Start fresh, start new, take a new risk because this idea that you have is still here and it might be kind of scattered for you, but there's going to be some opportunity once you branch off in a new direction where it is going to pay off. So your dream doesn't have to end, but it's going to take on new form, new life. Wow. <laughs> Let's see if there's anything that we need to be aware of. What do we need to be aware of? We have the two of spades. Okay. So we have stagnation and conflict, restriction and plans beyond your control blocks to overcome. So this is life. This is what this is telling me. This is just life. Life is full of disappointment, okay? Life is full of conflicts and things that are beyond our control. Sometimes things just happen. Um, financial issues happen, sickness happens, you know, other people can be a problem. Our own selves, where we feel blocked or low energy, that can sometimes be a problem, okay? So it doesn't mean that just because we are shifting gears, that everything is just going to be hunky-dory and wonderful. But guess what? The potential and the things that you've been dreaming about for quite some time are possible. And they're more possible than ever because you are removing yourself from this old situation where you were stagnating, okay? So to me, this is telling me that you've taken the time to remove these blocks. So because you're taking the time to remove these blocks and go in another direction, you're getting closer and closer to your goal. So this is what I ask Spirit right now to tell us. What do we need to be aware of? We need to be aware of that we might be, we might kind of stand in our way again, or there could be other things that come up that are beyond our control. But the way that we treat these things and the way that we respond to these things are key because maybe the way that we responded to it last time is that we hung around and we continued to spin circles over and over again and didn't really get anywhere. But see, now that we've learned to just say, eh, you know what? I'm going to move forward and let go. No, none of these things can stand in our way. We've overcome these blocks. So to me, this is telling me that we are growing here. We are definitely growing. Yeah, see, look at this. Setbacks, demotion, company downsizing. So this is the deal. If you guys have been in that situation here where things are being set back beyond our control, you know, the economy, different things like that are creating some setbacks for people. I'm personally feeling this myself. It almost seems like I'm on this constant, uh, I've got all these ideas, 
but it doesn't really seem to matter because if people are just not, you know, able to spend money on these things, which keeps my business afloat, that is a setback for me. But is, does that mean I'm going to stop creating? Not necessarily, but I might have to scatter my energy and kind of start to think outside of the box, maybe take some new risks, do some new things. So what spirit is telling us here with what do we need to be aware of? We need to be aware of that sometimes life just can get in the way. Things in life are going to happen. But again, it's all in the way that we respond to it. Are we going to have an oh shit attitude and say, oh my God, screw it. You know, this, this dream, this thing that I've always wanted to do, it's over. No, that's not what we're going to do. We are going to become stronger we're going to become more creative. We're going to come up with more creative solutions because guess what? As long as we love what we do, it's not like that's enough to pay the bills. That's not what I'm saying here. But as long as you get personal satisfaction with what you're doing and you feel good about that, that is more valuable than the money aspect. Okay. And I know that that's a really, really fine line, especially when you're struggling and you don't know how you're going to pay your bills. So I'm not trying to blow sunshine up your ass and say, as long as you love what you do, don't worry about it. It's not what I'm saying. Okay. But it is key to do something that you love. Okay. And it might be that you can still do this on the side and, and dream about this, but maybe figure out how you're going to make ends meet in addition to your dream. Do you see what I'm saying? So sometimes we do have to be willing to do some other things like right now, because my business is not the same. I'm actually thinking about doing some stuff outside of the house and working independently and doing some other things to supplement some of my income. So that speaks personally to me. And it doesn't mean that I'm going to give up on my dream. It just means that because there's some setbacks right now, I can sit back and cry about it and just forget about everything and say, I'm done. Or I can continue to figure out how I'm going to keep this boat afloat. So I hope that that resonates with someone out there. So let's just go ahead and get one last final message from spirit to just kind of wrap up this whole situation. What's the most important thing that spirit wants us to know to close up this message? We have the two of uh, clubs, financial difficulties, lack of security, temporary setbacks, unpaid debts. Okay. So there seems to be in the midst of this nine of cups, wishes being fulfilled, dream job, everything's wonderful energy. There does seem to be some realistic stresses here. I can completely identify with this. Okay. It feels scary. It definitely does. So let's go ahead and get one last tarot here. But guess what? You are kicking ass and taking names. You are the king of pentacles. You will figure it out. First of all, the mystic moon oracles. This is my business. I own it. I'm the head honcho here. Okay. And the thing is how I react or what I do or what I put out there is very influential. It influences you know, not everything, but it influences things. So let's just say I'm in a shitty mood or I'm going through something that's also going to affect business. When I go through some spiritual shifts and changes, which I have, it's definitely influenced things because people are like, oh, she's not doing that anymore. So I'm not going to be, I'm not going to her anymore for this type of reading because she's just said that she's not really doing that anymore. That influences things. So we have to kind of like whatever bed you make, it's kind of like sometimes we have to lie in it. But we also have to realize that, you know, where we're at with ourselves is very, very key of how the universe or just the energies or things are responding to us. So if we don't like something, then we need to make a shift. If we're worried or we feel like, you know, just things we're, we're, we're just like, oh my gosh, we're feeling this major setback. We're feeling like things are very difficult. Then let's think outside of the box and figure out what else we can do in addition to what we're doing now. So that way we can supplement that income that's being lost. So it's not about just sitting back and, and wishing and praying that this a uh, genie will just make everything better. <laughs> okay. It would be wonderful if the world worked that way, but it doesn't, but we, we have something. We're the king of pentacles. We can come up with new ideas. We can work harder. We can, we can just figure something out 
we, to take care of ourselves. We're going to be able to make it because we're the king of pentacles. That's really what this reading is telling us at the very end. We may have had to go through some stuff, but guess what? What hasn't killed you has only made you stronger. You're still the king of pentacles, baby. Even if you are sitting here crying, you're still the king of freaking pentacles. Okay. <laughs> so anyways, that is just an example of how you can use these cards by themselves as well as with an Oracle deck. So I hope that you guys enjoyed that tidbit. And I hope that you guys are interested in my new treasure trove tarot for your career and finances. This is the first time that I've created a tarot deck that has to do with that subject. All of my other decks have always had to do with like love and connection and all that other stuff. This is specifically for career and finances. I freaking love it. So anyways, I hope you guys love it too. Thanks so much for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.